thing about being in deeper like this, you just don't know what's going on with the bigger end of it. You know, and I think these guys are able to kind of convince bears to, you know, be pushed around, directed around a bit. Well, I think I probably figured out why all that bird squealing was going on and stuff is because uh, I might be near their nest. Unless they really are calling me, but just stopped again. Speaking of nests... Let's keep this on for a couple of minutes. Now ye who do not believe me that I am on 100% big boy trail, then uh, that's fine. Yes, they do ribbons themselves even, but that could have been a hiker going through here. as they go into the little bit more thicket if they can. They do a little bit more um, back walking to get to the spots and then they come in kind of, you know, maybe in a cross section and then they walk in from there. Like it's hard for them to just not necessarily hard, but they don't bother having a whole bunch of parallel trails here. They do, periodically. But once you're getting into a spot where they, you find there's more family habitat, then the big ones have to break up their trail differently than they do it along in these paths right here. These ones, you always get a certain amount of height with them and stuff. You don't get too much of this stick where they have to, like right here is a bit of a trail. See, they start to get a bit, the, um, um, they kind of, I don't know, maybe course the, tr the branches to go some ways. Other ways they just break them, but they're able to just go like this. And I think the branch somehow gets it in his mind just to stay on course. Let's continue on here. So I thought I'd just even come this way for a moment and show a pattern of trail, how it really works. Let's see if I can uh, scoop up some good info on the ground here. This is what I kind of get a harsh feeling that they're doing to a lot of the forest. They're making it so it will be like this, holding in a lot of dampness year round. I think our rainforest in Canada is being grown in such a way that it's kind of almost hidden. People aren't realizing it and it has to do with the collection of species that I talk about, the aggressive sucker system that trees can have within them. And doing this, like moss relocation, like if you go up to even deep in the thicket like this, they can't help but pick up a handful of moss, strip something down that was is doing maybe very well, I'm not saying that one for sure is a good uh, one, but you see that moss there, and that moss there, you know, they'll take off that big chunk and they'll drop it on that piece over there. You know, they'll put some in some tree limbs. You know, they, you know, this isn't all just 
natural placement necessarily anymore, guys, that we've always understood it. That's part of the thing. There's a helper in the placement of it, and I'm seeing in here, British Columbia, I'm seeing an aggressive manner on the rainforest, is basically what I'm saying. Basically. Look at this nice little ducker. So you come up to stuff and you look at it and you you think to yourself, okay, how this obvious and stuff. And when I look through, I could easy, obviously see what was part of a trail going on still. Pretty chewed on. But then look at that part. That's the part we like. And that's going on now. That's not like it will be ended. So, you know, this is somebody's trail snack. And they pick it up, they stick in. Oh, is that going to be a good on What I talk about, the claw feature, guys. Can we tell that that you can? That you can. You see how they... There's the point of in sticking... Um, uh, the, uh, the nail in. Sorry. And then I just lost myself for a bit there. I had to go into thinking mode where I am and safety and stuff too, right? And you can see all the scrape lines. This is a beautiful piece. i got to keep this one. This is their food. What am I going to do? Well, you're at least getting really good footage of it there, Tin Man. That's a minimum. Everybody's going to be DNA, DNA, DNA. But the problem is, I don't know if anybody bothers with DNA. We all talk about it, nobody bothers with it. I don't know if I can afford it. But you know what? I got put here for a reason. So... I say I do it in the name of research.